Today we're going to walk through the starting process of a stratified downdraft gasifier. Um, we're going to start it today with just a simple propane torch, but you can also do this electrically with a uh, induction coil, resistive heating. Um, first we're going to take off the cap. This cap is a uh, very useful item for getting the uh, fire to stop, closing off all the oxygen. Well, get the starting fan going here. There we go. And I'm just going to heat the bed of uh, fuel, and in this case it's wood pellets. Okay, well we've let the gas fire heat up for a few minutes and now it's producing flammable gases. Um, we'll now test this. See if it's ready. It's really hard to see the blue flame in this bright light, but you sure can hear it and see the uh, plume of heat coming off the gas. Now we're ready to start the engine. Shut the uh, starting fan off. Prime the gas through all the filters and buckets and things. Oop, open the valve a little too quickly. I've rigged up a simple multimeter to show uh, we're producing 124 volts AC with no load, of course. It'll produce around 120 the second you uh, plug in any kind of appliance, which is what you find in a standard wall outlet. Hello, I, now, I will now demonstrate a variety of items you can run using this AC generator. charge your bank of batteries. In this case, it's only a singular battery, but you, you could charge 10 lamp acid batteries. I will now charge this heat cycle battery, which could represent a bank of batteries in your off-the-grid house or EV automobile. Um, I'm using a standard automotive charger because this generator only has an AC out, so I have to go back to DC. Plugging into this cord, going to the generator. And we are now charging at 8 amps, 12 volts. The 95 amp hour battery. And you can see the whole unit has no trouble 